a scene script. Have you ever wondered why Kubernetes clusters are hailed as pivotal in the field of IT? Well, the answer lies in the ever-increasing complexity of our digital world. As we continue to create and utilize an astounding amount of data, the need for efficient and reliable systems to manage this data has become more important than ever. Enter Kubernetes clusters, the unsung heroes of the IT world. They're like the conductors of an orchestra, managing the various components of a system to ensure everything works in harmony. They're not just about managing applications or making sure your website stays up and running. They're about creating an efficient, reliable, and scalable environment where your applications can thrive. So what makes Kubernetes clusters so special? It's their ability to streamline operations. In the fast-paced world of IT, time is of the essence. Kubernetes clusters help organizations save precious time by automating many of the tedious tasks involved in managing applications. From deployment to scaling to updating, Kubernetes clusters handle it all, allowing IT professionals to focus on what they do best, innovating and problem solving. But that's not all. Kubernetes clusters also facilitate efficient workload management. Imagine having a fleet of ships but no way to coordinate their movements. That's what it's like trying to manage applications without Kubernetes clusters. They provide a way to distribute workloads evenly across the system, ensuring that no single component is overwhelmed. This leads to improved performance and reliability, making sure your applications are always performing at their best. Kubernetes clusters are more than just a tool, they're a game changer. They've revolutionized the way we manage applications, bringing about a new era of efficiency and reliability in IT. Now that we've established their significance, let's delve into the concept of Kubernetes clusters. So, what exactly is a Kubernetes cluster? Picture an orchestra, each musician playing their part to create a harmonious symphony. A Kubernetes cluster operates in a similar fashion. It's a collection of machines or nodes that work together, much like the musicians in an orchestra. But instead of producing music, they run your applications. You see, each node within a Kubernetes cluster is a host for running pods. Pods are the smallest, simplest units in the Kubernetes object model that you create or deploy. A pod encapsulates an application container or in some cases multiple containers that are tightly coupled. These pods are like the individual instruments in our orchestra, each playing their unique part. Now these nodes aren't going solo. They're part of a team and they're managed by a control plane. The control plane manages the nodes and the pods in a cluster. It's like the conductor of our orchestra ensuring all the nodes are working in harmony to deliver high availability and efficient resource utilization. High availability in this context means that your applications are up and running when they need to be. Kubernetes clusters are designed to handle failures gracefully, which means if a node goes down, workloads are shifted and the symphony plays on. Efficient resource utilization, on the other hand, is all about ensuring that the performance of your applications is optimized. It's like making sure every note played in our orchestra is necessary and contributes to the overall melody. Kubernetes does this by automatically distributing workloads across the nodes in the cluster, taking into account the resource requirements and constraints of each workload. To sum up, a Kubernetes cluster is a system of nodes and pods managed by a control plane working together to ensure your applications are always available and running efficiently. With this basic understanding, we can now explore the formation of a Kubernetes cluster. Forming a Kubernetes cluster is like constructing a well-oiled machine. There's a sense of harmony and coordination that is deeply ingrained in its architecture. So, let's dive into the process of forming this remarkable structure. First things first, we begin with the master node, the heart of a Kubernetes cluster. This is where all the essential services and components reside. It's the control plane that manages the state of the cluster, ensures that the system is up and running and orchestrates the worker nodes. Think of it like a conductor leading an orchestra, setting the rhythm and pace for the entire ensemble. Now let's talk about these worker nodes. They are the instruments in our orchestra, creating the symphony that is our Kubernetes cluster. Each worker node runs pods, which are units of applications or processes. These pods can contain one or more containers that hold the actual application code. The master node assigns work to these worker nodes based on the resources they have available. The communication between the master node and the worker nodes is a dance of information exchange. The master node checks the status of the worker nodes regularly. In turn, the worker nodes send back their status and information about the pods they are running. 
This ongoing dialogue ensures the cluster is functioning smoothly and efficiently. Of course, the formation of a Kubernetes cluster isn't just about setting up the master and worker nodes, there's also the networking between them, setting up storage volumes for data persistence and configuring security measures. But at its core, the heart of the process lies in establishing this intricate relationship between the master node and the worker nodes. So, there we have it. We've constructed our Kubernetes cluster, complete with our master node conducting the orchestra of worker nodes. Each part communicating and coordinating, managing workloads to create a system that is robust, scalable, and efficient. Having formed our cluster, let's see how it functions in a real-world scenario. Watching a Kubernetes cluster in action is truly fascinating. Let's dive into a real-world scenario to illustrate this. Picture a bustling e-commerce platform handling hundreds of thousands of transactions every day. It's the peak shopping season, and the platform must be ready to handle an influx of traffic without any hitches. This is where our hero, the Kubernetes cluster, steps in. The Kubernetes cluster consists of a group of nodes, each a worker machine, physical or virtual, that runs applications. These nodes are the muscle behind the platform, managing the heavy lifting. The cluster ensures that the workloads, such as processing transactions or managing user profiles, are evenly distributed across these nodes. This distribution optimizes resource usage, maximizing the platform's efficiency. Here's where it gets even more interesting. If a node fails or goes down for maintenance, the cluster won't skip a beat. Kubernetes will automatically redistribute the workloads of the affected node to other functioning nodes in the cluster. This redistribution is seamless, ensuring the platform remains available to its users without any disruption. In addition to this, Kubernetes clusters are designed to be highly available. This means that even during peak traffic, the cluster can automatically scale up by adding more nodes to handle the increased demand. When the demand subsides, it can scale back down. This elasticity ensures that the platform can efficiently handle varying loads, making it reliable and cost-effective. Moreover, Kubernetes clusters are self-healing. If a process fails, the cluster restarts it. If a node is unresponsive, the cluster removes it and replaces it with a new one. This self-healing capability ensures the platform maintains a high level of performance and reliability, crucial for an e-commerce platform, especially during peak shopping season. So, there you have it. This practical scenario paints a vivid picture of a Kubernetes cluster in action. Managing workloads, handling failures, maintaining high availability, and ensuring a smooth and efficient operation. This practical example demonstrates the power and efficiency of Kubernetes clusters. Let's recap what we've learned about Kubernetes clusters. We kick things off by underscoring the importance of Kubernetes clusters in today's technology landscape. These clusters are not just a fancy tech term, but a fundamental component in managing and orchestrating containerized applications. We dove into the structure of these clusters, exploring the interplay between nodes and pods, the basic building blocks of Kubernetes. Nodes, which can be physical or virtual machines, house the pods that run our containerized applications. We learned that these elements work in harmony, allowing for a more streamlined and efficient operation. From there, we shifted our focus to the formation of a Kubernetes cluster. We talked about the master node, the brains of the operation, managing the state of the cluster, scheduling and task coordination. We discovered that worker nodes, on the other hand, are where the pods, and therefore our applications, live and run. This interplay between the master and worker nodes is what allows Kubernetes to do its magic. We then saw these clusters in action, highlighting how Kubernetes clusters not only manage workloads, but also deal with failures and disruptions. We learned that these clusters are designed to handle the unexpected, capable of spinning up new pods when necessary, and balancing workloads across the nodes. This resilience and flexibility are what make Kubernetes clusters a powerful tool in IT environments. To wrap things up, let's reiterate that Kubernetes clusters streamline operations and ensure efficient workload management. They provide scalability, resilience, and flexibility, making them a vital part of any modern IT infrastructure. With their intelligent design and robust capabilities, Kubernetes clusters are truly an IT professional's best ally. With this knowledge, you are now better equipped to understand and utilize Kubernetes clusters in your IT endeavors.